Hi everyone and welcome to a video on the essential top five modifications for 4x4s. So what's a modification? Well it is something that replaces part of the vehicle. For example this bull bar has replaced the front plastic bumper on the Discovery. An accessory is something added to the vehicle, for example this roof rack on the top of the ute. Now the modifications and accessories you choose are situation dependent so if you're going to go towing in the Outback that's a very different set of modifications and accessories compared to going mud plugging at weekends in your local state forest. But that said I believe that for all four wheel drives across all types of terrain there is a top five and that's what I'm going to run through now. Number one is recovery points. You will get stuck and you do need recovery points front and rear otherwise you've got no way of pulling your vehicle out of a bog hole or over rocks or wherever you happen to be stuck on. You can see on the top right there recovery points in yellow and the bottom right there's a recovery hitch receiver inside a tow bar. Either work, there's many different ways to do it but you need recovery points front and rear. Number two, tyres. These are the best bang for your buck um, because two things about tyres, they are the best way to increase off-road capability of any vehicle in almost any terrain and secondly they are the uh, most likely component to fail in, on your vehicle. So by replacing them you get better puncture resistance and greater grip in all terrains. The particular ones you want are light truck construction tyres which are thick strong tyres more uh, strongly constructed than passenger construction. You also need to select a pattern and light truck construction tyres can come in road pattern, all terrain, mud or extreme. For most touring four wheel drives you would want to select the all terrain or possibly the mud pattern which gives a good balance of on and off road performance but make sure it's light truck construction and then that way you'll get better puncture resistance and the tread will give you greater grip in all sorts of off road terrain. Number three is suspension and that is typically replacing the springs which you can see in yellow and the shock absorbers or dampers which you can see in white. And one, there's three reasons to do that. First one is your clearance angles. So here we have our approach ramp and departure angles. We lift the car and you can see that they are improved. That means that you can get over ruts, rocks and everything else off-road more easily. Number two, better load carrying and number three, better heat dissipation. So here we have a blue Triton in the Simpson Desert. It's heavily loaded, it's driving over corrugations. That generates a lot of heat in the shocks and the aftermarket shocks are better able to dissipate that heat because they're designed for it and also the whole suspension is designed to carry heavier loads for long distances whereas the standard suspension is often designed more for the vehicle to be unladen. Number four, a snorkel. This is just really cheap insurance. Take a look at that Ranger in the top right hand corner, driving it through some water there. The water didn't look that deep, but as you can see, there is a bit of a pothole on the left and all of a sudden it's a bit deeper than what you think. So given that engines cost tens of thousands of dollars to replace, a few hundred dollars for a snorkel makes a lot of sense. You can also put an air cleaner on it as well, pre-cleaner, and collect a lot of dust as you can see in the example with this patrol here. Now number five is vehicle specific modifications. Pretty much every vehicle has some form of weakness and you need to hunt that down and solve it before you are stranded on a track. So for example my Defender here it has a weak rear door and the um, problem with that is that the spare wheel is mounted to the door and then that can overstress the hinges so I put in place of that a um, a wheel carrier and I did that when the vehicle was brand new. There's many different vehicles with many different inherent weaknesses. Find out what yours are and get them fixed before they actually fail. And then finally your needs. So once you've got those five basics what else do you need? Top left hand corner in the Discovery you can see we've got a long range tank. 190 litres of diesel can go a very long way on that between fills. On the right we've got underbody protection and at the bottom there we've got a dual wheel carrier. There's a world of modifications and accessories but once you get those past those five basics choose what you need according to the terrain and type of four wheel driving you're going to be doing. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook for more on four-wheel drives, cars and towing.